Welcome back everyone to another episode of Grounded. Today we're finally gonna fix the automatic food farm. Now, this is definitely the right design that we're gonna do, but we're gonna move this down. I think one step down, uh, just to the other section here, like in the middle section, right here. We could obviously do it down here as well, but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine here. Although, I mean, we can try it. It goes pretty fast to build it. So, uh, the... the like, the goal of it is basically to make a square, as you can see, and place mushrooms in it, so the weevils go up and down, and then they can't get out. That's gonna be the goal. And that's gonna be the food source that we're gonna have for for when we're up here, I guess. So, I guess we can just find another food, food, source, food source later. But for now, that is gonna be what we're gonna do. So, the automatic food farm is gonna be the main thing that we're gonna do. Now, I obviously... Oh, damn, that was close. Uh, I'm also gonna try and upgrade... Basically, go and kill a bunch of stuff, so that I can get a bunch of resources, so I can upgrade my shit. Because we're getting pretty low there. Um, so yeah, those are the two things that we're going to do today. But like the main thing, I really want to get this automatic food farm to work. And, well, to be completely honest though, I don't think I've seen that many weevils up here either. So maybe it's better to have it down here. Like, it, it takes like 10 seconds to go from the base down here. And like kill the weevils and then go back up. So I guess we could do it down here. Uh, well, let's just try both. Let's try both. So, one complete square takes 12 wheat stems, 49 clover leaf, 24 sap, that's actually quite a lot, um, and some spring and plant fiber. So, I actually haven't placed the sap collectors on the uh, on the tree yet, which I would like to do, because sap is, like, one of the one of the stuff that I'm really, like, I have to go and look for it every single time I need it. But, we're gonna try it down here first, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be the same thing up there as it was at the top, like, there's barely gonna be anything. So, I just wanna, yeah, let's just try it down here first and just see if it actually works. But let's leave first so we can see something. Oh yeah, I also forgot to tell you, uh, we are definitely gonna build a little bit more on the base today. Because this is gonna go pretty fast, building this. And then I would like, I'm gonna start building the, um, well, some stuff up here. I'm not exactly sure how I want it yet. But I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have, as I said before, the hole in the middle that I was explaining. And then we're also gonna have, this is gonna be fairly open, although we will have a roof. I'm, I'm gonna show you later what my plan is, but I think that's gonna be good, that's gonna be good. Alright, so the only things that are missing now is basically the sap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the tree, and we're gonna place a bunch of uh, sap collectors. Now, we need acorn top, wheat stem, and crew drop, so we can find all of that over there. And uh, we are, well, the crew drop I guess we can just bring with us, but the uh, everything else is over there. So let me go over there, build some sap catchers, and then bring back... Well, a bunch of sap, I guess. So, we can place these ones basically anywhere that has these roots coming up. So, like, down here, on that one, uh, down on that one, I think. Maybe? I think pretty much anywhere, yeah. Yeah, we can place it anywhere, anywhere we want. So, I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest, but, uh... I guess, like, the spiders are going here, so maybe, like, a little bit further over here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that if we place it like, like this, it's gonna work. Or maybe we have to do it so it's a better angle. I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna build these ones because I think it's gonna work. I don't think it matters where we place them. As long as they are blue like this, uh, we like we should be good to go, I think. Hopefully. Otherwise, we're gonna have to redo it somewhere else and that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, so, okay, yeah, let's build them. Okay, perfect. So, I guess we do, now we just have to wait, and whenever whenever we need this, we are just gonna run over here, get some. Now, we can obviously place more, but I really just wanna see if it works first. So, this took like literally 10 minutes to build, no problem at all. There's so many wisdoms over here, so the next time we go back, if it works, we're gonna build even more up on that one. And if it works again, we'll build even more, you know, so we have just a bunch whenever we need to. So, alright, good. So now, uh, I think I have, a, yeah, we got 30... Oh my god, third nine. Damn, okay, we can finish the uh, automatic food farm. So I've also seen a few people build these tables. Now, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Hold on, there's another one. This one? Is this a little bit higher? No, I don't think it is. We're going to take this one. So we build this in the middle, just like that. And then we're going to place the mushrooms on that one so the weevils can't reach it. Because I I'm pretty sure that, like, after a while, the weevils are going to be able to, like, eat up the mushrooms. Although, I, I, I don't know exactly how that works, but just to be safe, we're gonna place, we're gonna build this one. Alright, so let's finish this bad boy. Oh, we got a corner here. Just like that, okay. Gonna complete that one. And now, all we gotta do is just drop these ones. <laughs> just like this. 
Oh, yeah. Th dude, this is going to be so interesting to see. By the way, we got the stink box pretty close. Uh, I'm a bit worried that they will do something with this. Although, I really hope they don't. Although, it does take, like, no time at all to build this, to be honest. So, Okay, there we go. So we now got... <laughs> that is so cool. Um, now all we gotta do is wait. Basically. Uh, for the weevils to come. If they do come. I don't know um, if... Like if the height of this matters. If they if it, this is like a bit too high. So they can't like drop down. Uh, and I also didn't want to build this too low. So that it can climb out somehow. But hey, we'll see. We'll see. This is just an experiment for now. So... Uh, yeah, let's wait. Okay, you know what I'm gonna try and do? I'm gonna try and build a little farm here. So, I'm gonna take away all of this shit. That's right here. And then I'm gonna extend these stem half walls. So we make, like, a perimeter around this area. Like, uh, like uh, straight out here. Up to, like, this one, maybe. And the same thing on the other side. So we can have this area right here uh, closed in, pretty much. Because I don't think that these ones can go over the stem half walls unless they trigger on me. Which, if they get too close, they will do. Um, because then we can keep this area just a little bit safe, you know, from these ones. Um, th that's just an idea, though. I don't know if it works, but I kind of want to try it. Dude, what are you doing? Nobody's home. You gonna knock on the door or what? That's right. Go away. And since this doesn't work, I'm just gonna take this away. Pointless having it, right? Okay, but like, dude, can you not... Dude, I'm gonna have to start killing these ones. Holy shit, they're annoying. So, what I'm gonna have to do... Dude... Okay, I thought it was going into my base. Um, I'm gonna try and get as, as much as many splinters as I possibly can so I can make the splinter arrows. And then I will just shoot these bastards down because they are super annoying. Super annoying. So, we're gonna have it open like that, I think. This can actually look pretty cool. We might even do this. We might even take the half ones. Place them like that. So we get like so we get like a round it up. But hey, that might um, we're gonna have we gotta have something down here though. I don't. Yeah, as I said, I don't know how we're gonna do this. You know, one thing that we could actually do is if we take these ones and build them like that, so it hangs down. I don't know if this is gonna look good or not, but I think it could do. And then we build them down here as well. Or maybe not. Maybe you... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm gonna try a few things and see what looks best. But that might uh, might be something. <clears throat> okay, so I just built something which I think is gonna look good in the end. I know this might look really weird. But what, I, what I'm thinking is we're gonna place lights behind here. So that whenever we like walk out, it's gonna look like it's... Um, like, the, like, like in the night. It's gonna look like it's... Um, the light's basically gonna come down behind this. Which I think is gonna look pretty cool. In the like the walls, I, this might look really weird. I don't know, but I kind of want to try it. Toilet. It's pretty cheap to buy to uh, build this, so kind of want to build it. And this actually look kind of sick. Although I don't know what I'm gonna have in the middle down here. We'll figure that out. But I think I'm gonna try and build this. See how it looks. Oh, oh my God! Where the f what did you? Was he waiting for me? Are you insane? He was literally standing right beside me. What the fuck are you doing, huh? Oh, the grass is looking looking at you. Weird, huh? Is that it? The grass is pissing you off? Tickling your ass? Huh? Okay, I gotta run past this shit. And now he didn't even see me. What? Okay, what is going on? <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, so we're gonna check out the uh, weevil trap. The food farm. See if we got any. Oh my god, I don't think we did. I didn't see... Oh. Hold on. Well, there are weevils here. But there's not any in. Although, I think... Yo, can you stop? Okay, let's let's try and throw it. Wait, how do, how do we throw it? Hey! Okay, we press R, apparently. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, there are wheels around. Not not anything in it, though, but I... Okay. So, let's see. 
Let's see. Yeah, come and get it. It is working. Yes, dude. I, as I said, I think during the night, I think the game uh, pretty much stands still during the night. So it's no like progress where the animals are going and stuff. Um, so I think if we just wait to the night, we are going to have a bunch of them here. Hopefully. I don't know how many it's going to attract because it's a very iffy spot to be honest. The nose, but The nose. The nose. nose. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Dude, it's here all the time. It's so annoying. It really is. Oh wait, dude, it destroyed my base. What? Again? Okay, I gotta I gotta take care of them. Oh no, it triggered on me. Don't do anything stupid that you'll regret, buddy. Just don't. You know what we could do? We could make the the uh, chest the storage system here in the middle. Um what if we do it like that? Place chest down here and up here on both sides. Can we place... Okay, it might be a little tight with space, though. If I could only have it the other way around. So we have it not on this length, well, oh, like on this length. Oh, that could actually be good, dude. Hmm. Okay, I kind of like this, though. Um, what if we just keep the chest under here and then above here? That could be like fairly easy because okay, so the reason why I want to change the storage room is because what if my, my what if my base get attacked, which it will uh, later on when it, when you know the attacks are coming more often. Uh, what if they destroy this wall and destroy these ones? Like everything is gonna fall apart and my items are just gonna be on the floor. Like that's gonna be so damn annoying. So I think having the storage in the middle here will be the best possible thing I can do. Um, unless I make like different rooms down here, although I kind of want to keep it open like this. I feel like this is It's looking good. It's looking really good. So down here. We can have like maybe like one two three four five six and then up here seven eight Twelve chests. is that gonna be enough? I Mean it's a start at least we can obviously just change it later And then maybe like build the walls up again I don't even know dude. I feel like I rem I feel like someone else has done this I feel like I remember this design from somewhere. Uh, I've seen someone do it on YouTube, I think. But, uh, well, if I'm copying it, then, hey, I'm sorry. Credit to you. They haven't done it. But, <laughs> um, I think this looks good. I think this looks good. Are we happy with it? I mean, it's very simple. It's nothing special, but I kind of like it. Dude, he's still here. Like, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? And he destroyed this shit. Ah, <sighs> dude, I I need I need to make a perimeter. I for one hundred percent need to make a perimeter. I don't know. Okay, so what if I make? Hold on. What if I make a perimeter even? F okay, I need to close this so the ladybird doesn't walk in here. <laughs> uh, what if I make a perimeter even further away? So we make it like all the way out there, all the way out there. I don't know if the bugs are gonna attack the perimeter, if they can't walk through it, if, they, if it like aggro's on it, because they can't like go on their path that they're supposed to walk on, or if we can keep them out. That would be interesting. I'm actually really tempted to try that. Really, really tempted. Oh no. Hold on, wait, something just died. Something... Oh, yeah. Ooh, I think it... <laughs> I think it drowned again. That happened before as well. Do you remember? Something drowned? What the... I don't know how that's possible, though. Hold on. I wanna check. I wanna check. Is it really possible that it happened again? It actually does drown here. <laughs> that is... Okay. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. So they basically get stuck there? <laughs> that they can't move. Nice, dude. Dude, the bugs are just waiting for me outside here. Oh, I didn't mean to bother you. Come on. Okay, hold on. I need to I need to kill some stuff, dude. I need to kill some stuff. They are just like they're literally waiting outside my door. See that? He's stuck like in my base. Like what is wrong with you? Huh? Uh, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> You see, dude, he's getting pissed off at the <laughs> at the grass. 
temperament like a woman. God damn. No offense. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> so I've been working quite a bit on the house. And it is looking... I think this is looking really nice. You know... If, well, if you if you see the if you seen the first season that we did in Grounded, you know that I like to build some pretty weird stuff, which usually turns out fairly good, I would say, fairly good. So, some stuff are really weird though. Uh, but this, I kind of like this. It looks good, but I can't seem to fit the chest here. It's, dude, it has to be, it must be able to get in there, right? There's no way it doesn't. There's plenty. of room how does it fit closer to it like what how does that make sense and not here like what oh hell no okay that really doesn't make any sense i mean it works but i really i really want no stop stop <laughs> so it does work if i place them a little bit uh to like as you can see it's not straight it is a little bit to the right um I mean, I don't really care about that, so I think... Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can try and change it later, but... Let's keep it like that for now. Okay, so I just fixed this a little bit. We're gonna have all of the bug stuffs here. Um, on this side. And over here, we got basically all of the, like, hard materials, soft materials, other materials. And then, uh, armor and weapons. And then the treasure chest. So, what are we gonna have over here, then? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. But, like, the good thing now is... I can use all of this stuff right now... Um, and reach like for example when I use this in order to reach for the silk rope I had to like stand over here because I was I wasn't close enough to, to, to the storage But now it's in the middle so now I can just uh, you know place this stuff around the place and I will reach the storage no matter what so that's pretty nice Okay, so everything is a little bit more organized. I basically just place them around here. We are gonna fix this later though We're gonna have it a little bit more uh, a little bit better looking so we're gonna have multiple like, maybe, like, two of each. Uh, or, like, two two cookeries, two grinders, uh, two spinning... Uh, you know, a bunch of shit. So, we're gonna fix that later. But for now, uh, I really wanna fix this in the middle first. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take these away. I don't exactly know what we're gonna do up here. I haven't really decided. But, to be fair, we don't really need to do it today. We've done a bunch of progress here already. But, I am super... I, dude, I can't wait. I need to see if we got any, uh, any weevils. Let's go down there. So, the moment of truth. Now, it's been like two days. Almost. Okay, it doesn't look like we have... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, we got three. But the problem is gonna be... Dude, these ants. Damn. Oh. Hey, yo, what up, bitch? Yeah, don't kill my food. Uh, okay, so it's a bit... Maybe this is too far away from being, like, rendered into... Or maybe they can walk out. So, is this damaged, by the way? Yeah, you can see, this is not damaged. If the weevils were gonna... Like, if they were in here... And the ants were around, they should have attacked this one more, right? Okay, this one isn't getting in. Hmm... Well, I mean, it is working. But I don't think it's working perfectly. You know, if this design is working on the other level, I'm pretty sure that there are no red ants there. Which would make this perfect, because the red ants are the problem right now. And I think if we make it up there, it's also going to be close enough for me when I'm in my base to, like, render. I don't know if that's actually a thing, though. Uh, but that would sort of make sense. Uh, so I kind of want to try to build this on that level as well. Probably gonna do that, like, in between this and next episode, and then I'll just show you, if we got any, in the next episode, so. Uh, I mean, it is it's definitely the working, though, so that's uh, that's good to know. It's good to know, um, but it's just not working perfectly. <laughs> okay, so I just placed a bunch of lights behind. Oh. Hold on. If I can... There we go. <laughs> okay, so everything is lit up now, behind, as you can see, which is honestly looking... Dude, can they please just light up? There we go. I like this. I really do. Uh, can I see the light from above, though? I don't think I... Oh, wait. Yeah, I can a little bit. That's, that's gonna look nice, dude, up here. So, damn. Okay, we actually made a bunch of progress today on the base, inside the base. Dude, like a completely new system here. Um, so, what we're gonna do now, the last things, is... Um, well, first of all, look how we can do the perimeter. 
We're gonna look at the um, at the food farm. We're also gonna look at the sap collectors if we got any. So let's see once again if we got any weevils. It honestly doesn't look like it. Hmm. Although we just slept, maybe that's why. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was gonna work a little bit better, honestly. But I think we might have to move it somewhere else. Or I I I do wanna try it on that one first on that platform before we uh, do anything with this one. We should be able to fight this, right? Hold on, hold on. No. No. Take that away. Meat shield. Take that away. Paramaster. There we go. Hey, yo. Get over here, you freak. Get over here, you freak. Yeet. Oh, damn. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, we're blocking pretty much everything. That's nice. Oh, no. But the shield broke, but that's fine. Nice. No, 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 no. I'm stuck. I can't move. Okay, I'm super low. Run! Okay, so let's see if we got any from these ones. N oh, nice. It is working. Okay, that is just beautiful, dude. Okay, so we can set up all of this, like, the same as we did here. Up on that one. 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 Like, like literally everywhere. Damn, dude, that's really nice. So every single time we we'll walk past here, we can just collect a bunch of sap. All right, perfect. Hey, at least something is working. <laughs> something is working. Woo! Oh, yeah, I can definitely see... I can see a few weevils up here, actually. On this platform. There's one right there, and I can hear something stuck here in this... In, in, like, inside the stone as well. And I did see a few more over there a while back. So maybe... Yeah, maybe we can build here. That would be awesome. Is that going to be super close to the base as well? Would be perfecto. Ooh, here we got a... Oh, damn. That's a larva then. Damn. Ooh, wait. We got four. Max active mutations. Yes, please. Oh, hold on. I heard something. I know what that is. I know what that is. No water filtration tablets needed. You piece of shit. I can never get him. That's like... Oh, damn. That's, this is like the fifth or sixth time that I shoot at a scarab and then it just digs himself down. God damn it. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, why don't we just do it with a spike strip? Wouldn't that keep them away? So if something walks... Or maybe they will... The thing is, I don't know if the animals... Or if the bugs are gonna trigger on stuff that makes damage to them. Or if, or, or if they only trigger on, like, other creatures. Or, like me, for example. 